So, I know I haven't been on many flights. This is only really technically my second one on the way back. And, uh, it was pretty much the worst experience of my life. First of all, taking all the things that I brought with me, my luggage, my backpack, my sweaters, and everything with me, I dragged it across the campus to the train station. It wouldn't have been that much of a struggle going through campus and upstairs and downstairs and everything if my suitcase wasn't breaking. So that was also happening and uh, one of the wheels wasn't working so I almost had to lift it the entire way. I was on the train station and I was so tired already. So tired. When I got to Florida, I got my luggage and had to go through luggage again because um, it didn't send it all the way through, which I don't know why, but they didn't. And then I waited for my plane, okay, whatever. And then we got to Dallas. And then on Dallas, we boarded the airplane. And while we boarded the airplane, they told us that maintenance was coming and fixing the plane or whatever. And then uh, after an hour of sitting on the plane, we had to get off the plane and then we had to go to a whole other terminal to get on a new plane and then we still waited about 30 minutes until we left off and I was so tired I was flying all day my 18 hour flight ended up being about 20 hours and I was literally dying on the inside but before all that happened I filmed this hi it's me Tony so I'm getting ready to leave soon it's my last night in the room I paid extra one night cuz I'm leaving one night after like we're supposed to leave and uh, it costed 24 pounds not bad and so this is going to be kind of like a room tour of at least what's left, but not much has changed. And so, uh, here it is. This is the door that you have to have the key to first. You have to, right out here is the elevator and stairs. Lullington right now is the only building that has an elevator. I think because it has five, five floors, which makes sense. And I'm on the fifth floor. This is our kitchen. You can't leave the door open for that long because um, it's a fire door and it'll start beeping or whatever. But I, I would show you the inside, but everyone kind of left and it is such a mess. Which it just kind of depends on your flatmates. We wouldn't use that, but flatmates. And I am roommate, so it's 94A, and they go all the way down and around. Here's my card. I leave it in my phone. Then what to do is so when you walk in, there's the doorknob. This lock does nothing. And uh, I don't know what this is for. Uh, didn't use it, don't know how. Light switch, this is off and this is on, which is weird. Uh, you know, nothing. Um, this is with my suitcase, obviously. Uh, I haven't packed those things yet, but there's the coat hanger. Safety instructions, here's the wardrobe. Uh, I haven't packed this yet. My clothes were in here. There's a mirror. There are outlets here, outlets under here. Here's my desk. I usually had paper here. This is for a video. And um, some snacks and stuff. My computer was here, is here. This is where I worked on stuff. Here is my chair that I would sit in. Um, up here I just had a few Harry Potter things, which I still kind of do, and, uh, I had food here, still kind of do, I just bought that today, 
This is for when I go back on the plane. Those are just bags. Um, books that when I read here, here's a window. When I read, I would read and leave my book here. Trash cans down here, or the bin as they t say here. The view again. Here is my bed. I just bought that today. Um, I'm packing in that. Then there's this thing. There's this shelf here. So more books I haven't read yet. These are clothes for tomorrow and uh, pain relievers and stuff. Um, extra toothpaste. Um, this is where I kept my bag. This is a light, which is pretty cool. And then you can make it brighter and dimmer. I'm charging music right now. You gotta turn the plugs on to use them. There is this thing here, which is a, a drawer like that you put stuff in and then you can lock it. One drawer opens at a time. And uh, that's cool. <laughs> Here's the bathroom. It has a sensor light. Uh, there's a mirror. Um, sink. Here's how skinny it is. And uh, here's the shower. The shower head that comes off. Here it has a uh, pressure and here is the temperature. The door is a slide. Close and open. So while I was here at Sussex, they gave me, you know, a blanket, a pillow, and a towel. And they have washrooms and stuff down in the social space. To be honest, the bed is not very comfortable. I think some places beds are worse, but um, I've slept in it all this time and my back hasn't hurt like on some other beds. The comforter blanket is very nice. I actually they really like the pillow and uh, they come in to clean your room every week but at the beginning it was having problems with that I don't know and they also change your sheets and stuff and so they're supposed to clean your kitchen if it's like good enough to be cleaned or whatever and the same they clean your bathroom you can sit on the bed you can sit on the beanbag chair you can sit on the chair at your desk you can go to the kitchen or you can go to the social space and uh, those are all good options. I haven't really had any friends in here until like just recently because everyone's leaving and I'm pretty much the last one. I had a really good experience here. I met a lot of awesome people from all over the place and uh, it was fun. And I'm glad I came. I bought a lot of Harry Potter stuff and a lot of stuff in general which you will probably see if you haven't already. If you like this video, you can go ahead and do that. If you want to see more videos like this, you can subscribe to my channel, but I'm not going to force you because I'm a Hufflepuff. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both those links are in the description, and I think that's it. Okay, bye.